What are we doing, James? Oh, we're playing some Bloodborne. Okay. Well, I'm playing some Bloodborne. Um, I think everybody here has a remedial idea of Bloodborne. <laughs> I know up until the Blood Starved Beast. Okay. That's it. Um, I've actually gotten pretty far, but as I've said with almost all of our other games, I did it upon release. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on now. And like my playthrough was a skill based with the threaded cane. Okay. Which I I enjoy. Strength build. Hunter's axe. Yeah. That's the one, baby. What I hope for when they remake it, we could get like the all the DLC weapons because there's some ridiculous DLC weapons. Pistol, James. Yes. Okay. I prefer the pistol. Um, I have all the DLC. Nice. Yeah. Hmm? Hit a button that I. Didn't yeah, because we had that conversation where games are just so old, but DLC stay the same price, and I'm just like, why? Yeah, you gotta catch it on a deal. Yeah. Like, the DLC for this would be like 20 bucks, it's like, or for why? <laughs> or wait for like the director's cut edition, you know? Yeah, that's why I'm waiting okay. for the remake, because I hope they'll just bundle everything together. They will. Yeah, just like mm. Mass Effect's Legendary Edition, mm. I mean, it has all three games Not and all Sartinia. DLC and cut content, so... It's Rolling got the, the whole one. shebang and more. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go from right here. Uh, this is... Because when I played through it, I got a lot further before I died for the first time. <laughs> you know when I died for the first time? It's, um... Hold on. Go left right, right there to the yeah, tombstone. That one. Yep. I, I tried that. Oh, that's weird. I went there once and it didn't let me go. And well, maybe I just did it wrong. Um, did, you, did you have your stuff? Yeah. Okay. Do you know when I died first? Hmm. It was when I tried to fight the cleric beast and then you told me, hey, that's an optional boss. And I'm like... <sighs> <laughs> hey, you don't have to fight that hard thing. Yeah, like, this guy's a bitch. <laughs> oh, that guy who's just kind of in that corner? No. No? The the first, like, quote-unquote boss on the bridge. It's right oh. after you crest the bridge. He comes up out of the floor. Gotcha. Or he comes there you are. Guess who's going to die? He comes, like, up over the building or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he jumps over the gate. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Blood vials. All right, we're going to play some uh, Bloodborne here. Um, we are in Yarnum. Yarnum. Yeah. Hey, that's a fun word. Yarnum. Um. Is it this one? It's the sounds yeah, of it pirates is. chewing. Yarnum. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks. Uh. Our poor town is diseased. And we're gonna fix it. What's funny is like. You don't really even know what the hell is going on. Yeah, Ooh. it's... They don't really tell you. It's it's Ooh. it's a Dark Souls game. Yeah. I thought I... Ooh, Dark God, Souls that's such a, a slow weapon. Okay. Which, dude, there are people... There are, like, other YouTube channels where all they do is they break down and spiderweb and connect every bit of lore. Oh, yeah. Can I... There it is. And they, like, they build the story to the best oh. of their ability. There it is. Everybody comes up with theories and whatnot. It's really incredible. Yeah, because like I know, do. I know like what the final boss is, and then I know what the secret final boss is, and I don't know any of that. Well, because I watched someone play yeah. through this. I have not. Um, yeah, he likes to speed run everything, and he has a hacked PS4, so he has a modded Dark or sorry, Bloodborne, where like. All the monsters are randomized, and the static items are randomized. We talked about this. Yeah. It was uh, while Jack was playing Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah, did I tell you about the bosses? That yeah. they're randomized, yeah. and each phase yes. is a different boss? Yes, you did. <laughs> Sounds fun. What you got there, bud? Uh, I was wondering how you guys take baths. I don't take baths? baths. I don't have a bath tub. Who are you people? Yeah, I don't. You don't take baths ever? I don't really. You're missing out, first off. Baths are amazing, I'll give you that. Baths are dope. James's biggest problem with the bath is that he doesn't fit in any of them. No, I'm a big boy. 
take up a lot of room. So if you were to take wow, a backseat, I like this thing. Yeah. Would you? Uh. Woo! Would you? At what point during the filling of the, the hot water do you get in the bath? Um, like when it's pretty warm. I don't like getting in cold water. Wait. Wait. So you wait, run wait. it until the water is warm. Yeah. And then you push the plug it down? No. No, you push the plug down first. Yes, like immediately. And then just kick the water on. Yeah. Okay. So you just get in as soon as it's warm. You don't fill it up to no. prime, prime point. No, I'm not going to go fight that guy. Okay. Sometimes I watch YouTube in the bath. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds nice. My wife likes to read books. That also sounds nice. Be nice if... <sighs> Can I tell you the last time I think I took a bath? Yeah. I think it was when I was in Japan. <laughs> you are missing out on prime bath time, Only bro. because, uh, you know, in Japan they have those gigantic bathrooms. Yeah. And um, they have those soaker tubs that are just like mostly a mini hot tub at all times. Because the whole point is you clean yourself mm -hmm. and then Ooh. you just soak in the tub. Wow, you hit hard. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But then, you just leave it? You empty the tub. Mmm... They oh. change it... I forgot about Okay, you. I don't know how often they change it, but they leave it for a bit. Okay. Because, essentially, you're going into it clean. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. And you know, it stays hot enough that, you know... Have you seen those float tanks? Yeah, like the sensory deprivation one? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to do those? I've had yeah. people tell me they're amazing. It'd be interesting. Um. <laughs> super funny. You know who I would love to see do that? And I don't think he'd be able to handle it? Matt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'd have a full blown freak out. Yeah. How about you, James? What about me? Those float tanks? I've. Not entirely certain what you're talking about. So it's mostly a gigantic pod okay. that's filled with highly salted water to the point that you're floating. Okay. And it's sensory deprivation. Okay. So you lay you lay down in this water and it's they salt the water so much that you become so buoyant that you don't need to work to float. Okay. Uh the water is warm. It's not hot, hot. But it Isn't is Isn't it your body temp? Is it your body temp? Ooh, I thought I it was a little bit warmer than your body. Possibly. Um, and then they close the they close the lid, and there's like no lights. Sometimes you can pump in like a little bit of music if you'd like, and you just turn your whole body off. Huh? Mm -hmm. Would you do that? Yes. Really? That sounds really nice. Doesn't it? I've always been curious Ooh. to try one. Yeah, it. I feel like it'd definitely be good to hear what your body's doing okay. and focus on your breathing. Because, like, the only thing you're mostly going to hear is your heartbeat. Yeah. Like that quiet room? Yeah. Oh, that, the We're, thought of that room freaks me out, man. Right? It's so quiet, you just hear your own organs. <laughs> How good would we be in an escape room? Or would we just be three idiots? Wait, have you not done an escape room with us? We've done a couple of them. I haven't done any with you guys. Really? Yeah. Oh. We're pretty good at them. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the only... The one that we really Oops. couldn't figure out okay. was the Alice in Wonderland one. And to be fair, I don't think that one was very well put together. Yeah. And it made it really hard to, like, complete. And then we timed out on, like... We timed out on a part that was really computerized. Mm. And oh. we figured out that we were doing everything right. Their computer was just really janky. <laughs> there was also, um... You had to throw the balls into, like, you had to throw a ball into a hole, but it was really small, and you had to be really good at it. I don't remember that. Really? It was the very last thing that we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we kind of didn't do it. Yeah. Because we had already timed out on the stupid computer part. Yeah. Gotcha. Dude, because when we timed out, he tried to, the, the, the curator or yeah. whatever tried to lead us to the computer part and even he was messing it up. Right? 
That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. We were really good at the pirate one. We, yeah, we rocked that pirate. We dominated one. that pirate one. I just wanted to have just a little bit more reach. I'm gonna look at uh, I'm gonna look at some float tanks. We should do one. Okay. And then we can also a very talk about uh, interesting it. one is uh, cryotherapy. Yeah, I've been curious about that. But it's mostly for like recovery. Yeah. And it really helps with inflammation. I got some inflammation. Uh. Ooh, uh, speaking of cryo things, I watched a video where they use a machine that you drop CO2 pellets into it. Okay. And it mostly acts like a sandblaster. Um, we use those at my work. I've I saw a video of someone using it for car detailing. Without stripping it? No, no, no. Like the underside of the car, all the metal bits. That makes sense. Yeah. Makes way more sense than what I was thinking. There's another one where I'm really interested in because when you do carbon cleaning on my car because it's direct injection, mm -hmm. uh, you would usually do walnut blasting. Yeah. Same principle except you use the CO2 pellets. It'd be far less destructive because then you don't have to vacuum out frickin' walnut shells. Don't just burn out? I don't think so. Yeah? I don't think that's good for the engine. Probably not. <laughs> just send it, brother. Well, just like, just like even if the carbon gets in there, it's not good Ooh. for it because the carbon won't burn. Yeah. Your engine doesn't it run hot up. enough. You're not running your engine right. Why? You gotta run hot, baby. Spicy. <laughs> Want that spice engine. You mean, uh, there's this one method, quote unquote, to get rid of, uh, carbon intake problems, and that's like the Italian method of just like sending it? It's like, okay, Ooh. that doesn't really work. Just send it, brother. <laughs> just God, send it, bro. Bit. Yeah, it doesn't really work. You could do uh, like my old Toyota. You remember that thing? Yeah. The green one. Uh, my engine block glowed orange. What? <laughs> wasn't uh wasn't quite prepared for all the horsepower it put in it. Oh no. Yeah. I thought the turbo would glow orange. Incorrect. The engine block glowed orange. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Dude, the first time I stopped it at my house, Ooh. I got out and you could see like orange in the wheel wells, and I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> God. You gotta run that engine spicy, baby. It's how you get max horsepower. That reminds me how I was running my. Wow, um, I'm dying. I was running my brakes. I'm dying hard. My last autocross session. Because we were little, going so quickly. A little too Is that the they're like, hey, uh, your brakes are blue. I'm like, oh. Maybe you should go a little less hard. Yeah. I got a little overconfident. I'm sorry. That, that's a hard group. Yeah. That group will sneak up on you. Yeah. Also, I'm not used to this axe. It's a good axe. It is. I like it. I'm but just not used to it. I do also want to... Uh, give it a give it a swing, swing, swap right now. Swing, swing, swap. Stab. Nice. Um, I want to make, like, ah, brake duct up. cooling. Okay. That With, like, three-inch duct one. piping. Hear me out. Okay. Those CO2 blasters yeah. up inside of your wheel wells, <laughs> and just like a little NOS button on your, on your steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just put a liquid nitrogen tank in my car for your brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll cause it to warp. Yeah, not, not if you do it early. Oh, I, like, like, make the brakes cold before. <laughs> yeah. Super chill them before you Whoa. do a run. Okay, yeah. hold on. Is it the rotors that have to be warm or the pads that have to be warm to get warm? Wow. I would guess the pads. I would think so too. But I mean, you know. Because the rotors are there to dissipate the heat. You're autocrossing, right? Yeah. I mean, so why do you even have brakes? I'm sorry, what did I hear? Bitch lever? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, miss, you put a second pedal in my car? <laughs> oh, actually, um, 
my in-laws went to this awesome event in Oregon that I didn't join them in. It was mostly a track day for autocross. So they were using the track as their course. So it was mostly a track day. Do you not use your track as your course? No, most autocrosses are in, like, parking lots. Really? Yeah. Like so, a gym kinda? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Like, um... The ones at PIR, they're set up in the in the parking area. Huh. At like the North Gate. I didn't know that. And then the last one I went to in Dallasport was at uh, on an airstrip. James has his tendency to not pick out everything up and he's killing me. What do you mean? There's stuff that you're not picking up. Oh, from the bodies? Yeah. Oh, I don't need it. It's I usually from um, this guy that I just killed down here. He yeah. usually drops bullets, and I am full up on bullets, so I don't know. But what him. if he had blood vials? He doesn't. I feel like you can't guarantee that. I'm gonna go double check? Yep. I am praying his blood vials right now. Oh, Please he didn't bullets. drop anything. And nobody over there did either. So yeah. Fine. Say I'm not picking things up, and they're not even dropping things. I know that you're not. You know, that's also normal, James, playing behavior. Erratic? Yeah, he doesn't pick up Ooh. everything either. Look at his vampire videos. We have to point out chest Those are kind of hard to see, though. They are. I mean, we, we're not playing the game, so we have nothing better to do than to do it. Yeah, and YouTuber eyes are real. That used to be uh, when my dad would play Tomb Raider. Oh. And he'd be like, I'm stuck. Go do that button. What button? There's a button right up there. It's ah. not really what he sounds like, but you know. How did you get up there? Ah. I'm disappointed that you don't take baths, Derek. Why don't you go take a bath? We're gonna talk about it tomorrow. Mm, nope, I'm gonna take a shower when I get home. Take a bath. Nope. Why? Content. It's content. You have to take a bath. <laughs> 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 That's not the button I wanted. Come, come check my OnlyFans for the bath footage. Yeah. <laughs> the bath footage, yes. Derek's bath footage. People pay. People pay. Todd will pay. Todd's smarter with his money than that. <laughs> I would hope so. Honestly. Oh, this isn't going to go well for me. So the last time that you bathed was in Japan. Yeah. And that just uh, it reminded me of, uh, have you seen the group of people in Japan who pick up trash dressed up like samurai? No. Really? They have, like, these really long tongs for picking up trash, and they wear these whisker ba basket backpacks, and they go around in little groups of, like, two, three, four, and they dress up as, like, old-timey samurai. <laughs> now, what I did want to buy me and my, uh, Asian coworker is for these auto days, I want to buy us some rice farmer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> everyone was laughing. I'm like, me and V are the only ones that could do this. Uh, the rest of you would be racist. <laughs> Aren't those Vietnamese? Is that, Ooh. oh, I guess it could be Asian in general? Yeah. I don't know where they originated from. I really don't know either. Is it racist if you're wearing the wrong Asian hat? <laughs> <laughs> on, Doggo. Buddy. Um, dude, the, no, the trash samurai, man, they do, like, tricks with their tongs. They, like, whip them out, and they do, like, big spin moves and big <laughs> flares, and they're good. Like, they'll launch the trash up in the air, and then the other guy will catch it in his basket. Oh, that reminds me of, um... Really cool. The videos I sent you of the, uh... Great. I forget what they're called. Use your brain. What are the... Hibachi! Yeah. The, the hibachi videos I sent you? Yeah. God, those guys are crazy. Like the really good guys? Yeah. Jeez, man. Like the the knife behind the head and I'm like, No thanks. Whoa. Yeah, I choose life. <laughs> I choose my oh, finger. I forgot about this thing. The the guts that it took for you to try that the first time. Oh, right? Let it's alone like, then can get I good do at this? It. No. <laughs> you want me to throw a knife behind my head and then catch it? Haha. <laughs> but then it also shows me Okay, I've only been to Kyoto for a hibachi table. But I just feel like everyone does like the same tricks. Yeah, everyone kind of has the same six. 
Yeah. Have you never been for hibachi anywhere else? No. Kyoto's pretty generic. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a good sure hit. they are. Uh, they have one. They have one guy who's like really good and actually kind of passionate about his job. Um, it's the same thing. Like if you go to Vegas mm -hmm. and you go to the bars, all the bars do flip tricks. Yeah. They do like bottle juggling. Yeah. You don't find that here. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot to pick this up as well. Doggo. Oh, Ooh, yes, my souls. Or sorry, echoes. Jimothy. Yes. What's the most amount of money that you've ever lost? On? Just to the oh. world. To the world? I don't know. Yeah, like you don't know where that money went. But it's gone now. Ooh. Don't ask me. How much have you lost there, Derek? Derek, how much have you lost? Can we not talk about it? <laughs> we have to. Well, you brought it up. Derek. It involves my past and I don't like it. I'm just talking about like losing money to the world. Somewhere. Like you dropped a 20 somewhere. Yeah. No, I haven't lost any money. I have given money. I and refuse not gotten to back. believe that you've never lost like a 20 <clears throat> spot somewhere. Joe owes me two hundred dollars. I don't care. I just cash. realized that. Get in line. Yeah. <laughs> Get in line. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> don't um, you dare shoot me. Joe owes me for my sanity. Uh, <laughs> get in line. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Um, six of them. Wow. I refuse to believe you've never lost like a five dollar bill. I mean, maybe when I was younger, but like. Ever since no, I had like a debit I'm not card, gonna do it. I never really carry cash. I still don't carry cash. Not those werewolves. The only times I carry cash is um. You should always carry some cash. I mean, yeah, it's a, um. When was the last time? Usually, it's like detail money. Okay. I'll like cash it. How about you, James? Um, I think I had a wallet that I lost. It didn't, like, I was younger, I didn't have anything in it. Like, I didn't have a card or anything in it. Okay. It's just, um, 50 bucks, I think. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah. Ooh. Like, when we were younger, and, like, 50 bucks still was, like, a good chunk of money. Heck yeah. Now, I guess I would lose money, but then find it again, because I like flattening my money. Ah, oh, you fell. So, there's sometimes I would, like, look and through my house alive, and be like, it? Hey, look, I found a 20. You hide your own money from yourself? Well, because I flatten it out. So it could be like under like some books or... I don't like put it in between the pages, but I put them in between the books. I'm like, I want this flat. Flat. I don't know why. I had a winter jacket that I had a 20 in, and then I... It was winter again, and I put on the jacket. I was like, hey, yeah. 20 bucks. I think everybody does that. Yeah, I've definitely. done that before, def. Um, I only asked because I lost $40 the other week. Did you really? Yeah, to our barber, James. Oh, yeah. That doesn't count. Listen, you... I'm... I don't know if he has it. What do you mean? I didn't... I thought I counted out the... Okay, I know that I counted the money before I gave it to him. Okay. But I am so certain that I counted out the right amount of money. Oh. That I counted out how much that I wanted to give him. Right. Which was the price and then a good tip. The thing is, is that we pulled out that money, and I paid him in 20s. So, like, I can count in 20s. I'm stupid, but I'm not that Ooh, stupid. Good. Ooh, he got Yeah, you. he got me good. Um, he got he got that combo going, and I tried to roll past him. Is that I count those bloody, you know, I counted it in twos. Uh, I just... We, we pulled out the money on the way to the barber. Yeah. Which means it's somewhere on the street. <laughs> or I have a very happy barber. <laughs> I just don't know which it is. A very happy barber. Because I, I pre-planned to tip him well. Yeah. I prefer to think we just have a happy barber. I hope we do. Yeah. I hope the next time we go see him, he's like, Hey, you know you tip me like 70%, right? <laughs> yeah, we tipped him a, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Great next time. Yeah, solid next time. Me Happy dying. Happy Barbers. <laughs> Happy Barbers and me dying. 